morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this mental house with me, your host, Khadija. You know, <laughs> you know, um, I just want to make <clears throat> a short, sweet comment. Because y'all already know how I feel about this. You know, <clears throat> a lot of us are so angry with the Democrat and we'd rather cut off our noses despite our faces. And I've been seeing all these commercials with black people. Um, it's AI generated, actually. You know, black people hugging Trump. Uh, even though he continues to insult us, you know, he made some sneakers. Um, and we're going to buy them because we love sneakers. We're, we're buying these T-shirts, and we can relate to him now because we're all jailbirds. And, of course, him being a, uh, a convicted criminal makes um, his life more endearing to us. This is the insult that, that they're giving the black people. And I'm hoping that we're smart enough. I'm hoping that we're wise enough because, you know, we get so angry that we don't, we don't, we, we don't see the big picture. Okay. Um, you can't stay home. You can't do that because that's a vote for Trump. Okay. If Trump gets in the office, you don't get a do over. I will guarantee you if he gets in there, you'll never have another election. He didn't already promised us that. Where you at, Peppa? Get over there. Down. Lay down. Oh. That, that that you will never have another election. He said it. And ever since I can remember, ever since I was a small tot, um, and, and, you know, saw how important it is and was to vote, I think I kind of took advantage of it, Okay. Some people say it's just theater and it's a game and, you know, and I can agree with that as well. I can see the theater. I see how they, you know, gerrymander certain things, um, redline us. And so it's easy for me to get that train of thought. However, if it really didn't mean nothing for us to vote, why do they spend so much time trying to, Take away our right to vote. Take away our guns and take away our rights to vote. Especially in our community. Because if all politics are local, and I say it over and over and over and over again. So much to the point that I can't say it no more. What I will say is a vote for Trump is a vote for your doom. And if you're not smart enough to understand that, then you really are more damaged than I thought. And I know that we're not too long to come out of slavery. I understand all that. But here's a man insulting you to your face like this. And you think that's better than the alternative. Here's a man that's telling you already, if I get elected, I'm going to kill the cases I'm going to do, and y'all know he's done these things. Y'all know he tried to storm the Capitol. Have a, I mean, he led an insurrection. That's cool with y'all. We had never did that. If anybody should lead an insurrection and go to the White House and do it, it should be us. But if we are either fearful enough or got enough respect for this country that we built 
that we haven't done it? You mean it's going to be okay for somebody else and we watch it and we co-sign it? America as we know it is about to change. And I don't think y'all are really ready for what it is to have a um, dictatorship for real, for real. Where you have no Department of Justice or nothing for real, for real. Don't forget, it was all cut. A lot of those cases and, and, and um, the monies that, that goes to the Department of Justice was cut because they want to keep qualified immunity. They want police to keep stomping on our heads. And if you don't think it's all tied in, then I think you're sadly mistaken. Yes, the police have a strong union that's built basically on, on uh, Republicans. Unless they do something that the Republicans don't like, and then they want to shut down uh, and, and take the money away f from cops, okay, or beat them. They'll say one thing with their mouth and do another thing with their actions. All I'm trying to say is we should match y'all. When has somebody like Donald Trump ever meant us any good? He has n nobody like that has ever meant us any good. To sit up there and make fun of us in our face, insult us, and y'all thinking about voting for him? It's a sad day. And like I said, if you're going by what the AI said, they already said that the Russians have just messed up our elections. These You got some fa uh, fascist part of America say that if Donald Trump lose anyway, they're going to go buck wild. And we are going to see a change in civilization as we know it. You know? And, um, I hope y'all ready for the ride. But I really hope that y'all don't make the biggest mistake for our generations to come to lead, leave us in the hands of dictators now. Lead us in the hands of dictators. Because once democracy die, your whole reality is going to change. You'll see. And I'm done with it. Okay, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share the channel. I'll see you in the next video.